Today, I'm going to make some dachshunds with some cut paper. And this was a request by someone after I had done my goofy birds. So they said, how about some, some sausage dogs? How about some long dogs? So dachshunds it is. The other thing I wanna talk about today is how to know if your work is done. How to know if you've gone far enough with your art, how to determine whether you need to add more to it or not. So the all elusive, is it done yet? That's what I'm gonna talk about today. I'm Terry Runyon, visual artist and creative encourager, and let's jump right in. So here you can see all the papers I pulled. I, I will not be using all these, but I, I pulled them all out anyway because they caught my eye. And I've always got the good old, old book pages and some other old book pages. So yes, it just goes on and on with all this art paper. So I have no idea how many dachshunds are going to fit on this page. I'm going to just start in and see where it goes, as usual, and have fun along the way. So here we go. Okay, I've got these dogs cut out and I'm gonna glue them down now. And I use Craft Bond, Elmer's Craft Bond glue stick when I glue things down and so far so good on things staying down where I put them. It's a extra strength, so, and it's also acid free, so I won't discolor the paper. So I'll link to this below. Okay, the bodies are glued down. Now I'm gonna start putting some ears on these puppies. Okay, so I've got the ears in place. I pretty much think this is all I'm gonna use with the cut paper and glue, but you never know with these things as you go along. Sometimes you find out otherwise. So I'm gonna start on my details now. And in order to make white on these, I use a, a one for all acrylic marker by Molotel. And I use the one millimeter size. I have the link below. So yeah, these pens are not without their need to be cleaned out. Like any white pen, this has a tendency to clog, so you have to use it and clean it as you're using it. Before you put it away, clean off the tip, clean off the inside, clean off the inside of the cap, and that way the cap won't stick on, and make sure you close it, because it'll dry up if you don't. So there you go, a little two cents on the old white pen. So starting on my details now, and that means the trusty glasses. And I'm using a Statler permanent Lumicolor pen for my blacks. 
This doesn't run everywhere when you come back in with watercolor, so I like that about it. This particular one is a size F. I usually use a size S, and I might go get one of those in a little while. So in with black line work now. I'm kind of fond of putting cheeks on things, so I'm gonna do that with these puffs as well. And I'm gonna use a Posca pen. These Posca pens come from Japan, so most of the writing on there is Japanese, so I can't read that. But this is the color I'm gonna use for my cheeks and back with the trusty glasses. I'm going to come in with a bit of watercolor now because I want to put some shadows under these pups and uh, we'll see if I'm done after that. Maybe more characters or things will show up, maybe not. Here we go. So I'm getting to a point here where I'm feeling like it could be done. And what I'm doing to sense that is to look at it a little bit. And also I look at it sometimes through my camera to see if another view gives me an indication of whether it's complete or not. And sometimes I just stop and move on to something else. So right now I'm not feeling like this needs anything else. Um, because of that, I'm going to go ahead and say it's done. So the whole thing about whether it's done is really a sense, in my experience, of something you develop over time. The first many years of my creative journey, I had no clue when something was done. And as I started speeding up my process a bit, I started getting to the point where I could just tell this will work. And, and that kind of sufficed as this is done. It was just enough information where I didn't have to go any further. And these indications we get of whether something's done or not are unique to each and every one of us. Some of us are extremely detail oriented and I used to be this way, uh, but I found over time that I really didn't enjoy myself past a certain point. I always liked the part where I was loose and carefree at the sketch stage. And then when I moved into actually painting something and tightening up and trying to get all the details in, that just didn't work for me. It didn't feel good. So another indication is whether or not what you're creating is still fun for you, or if you don't know if it's done, it seems done, but if you go further, it's starting to feel like it's weighing you down. That's a good place to stop. And ultimately, you know what? It's okay if it's not done. It's okay if it's overdone. It's okay if you've made a mess of things. It's okay it's, if it's the most perfect piece of art you've ever made before. Whatever turns out, if you can remember to focus back on the joy of creating itself, on the fact that you've come to a piece of paper or whatever your chosen medium is and created something new, that is in and of itself enough. That's the most amazing part of the journey to me. 
So I hope this has been fun for you to watch and maybe helpful along the way. Remember, all the supplies I worked with are down below in the description and we'll see what comes next. I look forward to talking to you again soon and have a fantastic day. Thank you.